hey guys what's good welcome back to my channel it's me your girl polumi and i'm back again how are you guys doing so in today's video we'll be going to canada's wonderland we'll be going on a couple different rides over there i'm excited i'm nervous and yeah you know the vibes guys so this is my outfit of the day i got on a brown top and a black pants with some black shoes and i just went for something basic you know yeah and it was going to be very very sunny so i already got ready got dressed up and like the place is so far so my cousin offered us a ride it was like a 30 minutes plus ride it was so far so yeah we got to the location the clouds were super pretty we just got to canada wonderland and we're going to be we're going to try to be bold today and, and do the on slides that i will actually never go go so. on like they have one of the tallest um, roller coasters here that one over there let me show you that one there the drop is going to be crazy way on top we're going to try to do that one because we paid money and our money cannot go to <laughs> cannot waste we, we paid money and our money cannot go to waste so i'm going to try to be bold ah. at least i am going to be bold even if i'm dying yeah. of the I'm cold and the migraine we're going to be bold oh, i've never entered yet i'm already feeling sick already like <laughs> my heart is about to come out of my chest <laughs> just by watching Ooh, but we got this you know money cannot go to waste so enjoy this video like comment subscribe and share to your friends turn on the bell to get notified i was trying to find the entrance hey so sunny i like that oh look at that one over there i don't know if i want to do that one i've done it before we finally found the entrance see there kind of does wonderland period oh there's a long line which is not fun to be on the line mm. my outfit so we had to go line up and show them our tickets we entered pretty quick despite the long line place is so busy like so many people came and it was just crowded like overcrowded and yeah you guys see the waterfall stuff there is super pretty there was music playing and the water matched the beat of the song which was really really cool so we had to look for where the rides were and then you had to walk a little bit before getting to the right section like the place is so big so we took a walk there they have so many restaurants and places to buy food and drinks from which is good <laughs> So guys we got to the ride section we wanted to do this ride first but there was a long line so a lady advised us to come back later in the evening so we just had to go somewhere else we came across this ride over here and we were like okay this looks easy let's do this ride so we got on the ride i couldn't record myself on the ride because i didn't want my phone to break you guys get it right guys that was that ride i screamed abby Same is that the english i screamed all through the drop was crazy which one are we doing next? Hey, Jesus. I think my back was killing me. <laughs> my back. I think it's Whoa, broken. my hand is like aching me right now. I was oh holding onto that thing so tight. Yeah. About to go on this ride. How are you guys feeling? <laughs> this is how the ride looks like it turns you around turns you upside down it was not that bad i actually really really enjoyed this ride which is good it was really fun so guys in canada's wonderland they have a water park there and it closes early i think it closed by like seven and this was around five or so so we wanted to go on some water slides and stuff and then go back to our regular rides you know we wanted to have the fun experience of the water park before it closes and there were a lot of people there what i didn't like is that most of the water slides were closed like i don't even understand why did it have to be closed the day we decided to come i was really angry about that but whatever so yeah most of the big ones were closed we just had to um, get changed we got changed this is me with my short hair african queen vibes <laughs> i 
and yeah we got him waiting in line to get on a ride i couldn't even record anything because you know it's water i don't want my phone to get wet so we had to leave we went back to our regular ride area we saw this couple doing slingshot stuff uh, and i was so nervous for them <laughs> i salute them for their courage and boldness but i could never do this because this lady she passed out like one second she was screaming and the next we didn't hear her scream like <laughs> it was just so funny now i know why people pass out and stuff so we got on this ride this one is super chill i love all this type of ride it just takes you up spins a little you know and brings it back down yeah I loved this ride so much so after that we went back to do the ride we wanted to do at first the the line wasn't long this time so we were able to get on this ride i couldn't record guys i'm so sorry because you know i don't want my phone to drop out of my hand and this is us living there and so we just took a walk around you can see the waterfall in the evening so pretty The waters performed for us which was really really amazing you know they matched the beat of the music i couldn't record or like play the song for too long because of copyright reasons you guys know youtube and their stuff so we just took a walk around there were so many nice places to see they have so many restaurants like i said we came across some nice buildings like they were so pretty castle houses we took pictures with them we didn't want to go home just yet so we wanted to look for more rides we could do and we we're so tired and hungry at this point but we wanted to keep on going so we found one ride like this that ride it spins you around so fast and then you can tell the person to increase the speed we all shouted the one more speed the one more speed so it was really fun i enjoyed this ride so much so we came across this boat ride it was super fun they could also increase the speed for us which was so good i enjoyed it like 10 out of 10 we also came across this ride it's called nightmares it wasn't really a nightmare for me i enjoyed it i even went back for round two and then we went to go grab food and we went back home to go relax and prepare for the next day the next day hey guys what's good i'm glad you guys are still watching this video in today's video we're going to check out the royal ontario museum rom i'm super excited i'm ready and this is my outfit of the day everything monochrome in one tone i'm looking good you know the vibes i already prepared and then we left the house as my sister over there and then we got to the bus stop waiting for the bus it is it was super sunny on that day toronto is just so hot guys it's so hot i was just feeling myself on that day i was feeling my outfit i was just looking too good and then we took a bus to a bus terminal like this is the bus terminal and then we took a go bus and this is how it looks it looks like a train but it's a bus it was really pretty inside and this is me feeling myself like i don't even know what was wrong with me <laughs> and then we got to another bus terminal we got down we had to take a train to our destination you guys know the vibes so we got to the place we're going to take the train the train was already waiting and one thing about this train if you don't get in on time it's going to close on you so you have to make sure you're in before they close the doors and then we got to the museum you can already tell so we didn't know where the museum was this guy saw us and was like are you guys lost so he showed us where the museum is and then we got there everything was so nice the interior the design is given now i know why it's called the royal ontario museum like the interior was given royal so we had to get a map of the place and then we started taking a tour enjoy guys And then we went to get food to eat you know the vibes we're hungry the museum is big like it's super big and they have different continents to look at there's africa there's asia the others so we went to the different continents this is korea you know korea history korea korean art korean stuff it was really fun to see and look at all the stuff they had
and then we went to check out china and then we went to check out this stone section they had meteorites there was meteorites from the moon from mars from different places it was really cool We got to this precious stone section. They had sapphire, there was gold, so many, there was even diamond. Oh my gosh, guys, I was amazed. They all look so pretty. Like, if you know how much these things cost. Oh, and then they had this place where you could learn about biology, all this ecosystem stuff, and microorganisms it was really cool you know there were some things i was taught like stromatolite and all those cool stuff we saw some fossils of um some animals that went extinct so it was really cool we went to the dinosaur section they had some dinosaur fossils So guys we checked out more continents it was really really fun like i had a nice time in this place we couldn't even go to everything because this is so big but yeah we went to africa we saw some Ghanaian art really nice guys this museum is so big uh that four floors And guys that's the end of the tour we decided to leave and we wanted to check out one more place before going home and so we had to take the uh we had to take a train to that place we walked around for a bit we were tired and hungry at this point so we went to a and w to just cool off and eat and relax and then we got to museum of illusions it was one of the places we wanted to visit on our list and yeah this is us looking good as usual we went in there and started taking a tour of the place we saw this symmetry room which is basically you and your reflection there's a mirror in the middle it was really cool i'll show you guys a picture this is it yeah that's the concept of the place then the next place we went into is this like slanted room you know when you go to one side of the room it makes you appear taller like you see my sister is looking taller than her actual height and this is the concept like you guys get it right and then we went into this tilted room basically you are slanted like you cannot walk straight in this room just wait a bit this is what i'm talking about So about this place you can see on the side there's a door to enter right and then with this table there's a mirror so it basically hides your body and then it's just your head as shown a lot of people commented on my instagram post asking how did you guys take this picture this is how i took it okay <laughs> and the next place we went to is rgb room which is red green blue room and yeah it was, we didn't really understand what this one was about so yeah we just left museum of illusion and so we went into this reversed room the room is naturally upside down so when you take a picture all you have to do is tilt the picture this is how the picture looks like and that's how i took it guys a triangle let's move what do you see a box and this is called magic box this is the infinity wall the brain's perception while judging the depth of the computer let's go Whoa! oh my goodness yes so cute my outfit is given come on
i really really enjoyed that place you guys should check it out if you're ever in toronto it was so fun and yeah we had to leave and we had to go catch the train to go back home it was an eventful day for all of us we had fun and we're so tired at this point but we had so much fun it was definitely worth it and then we went back home